of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Christ. Make your home in me, and I make mine in you. I just would like to reflect very briefly on, on one of our prayers, which was set for the morning prayer, Psalm 30, which is a thanksgiving. Praying the Psalms, meditating on their message daily, is a vital resource for spiritual life. When we pray the Psalms, we realize that our life has a deeper grounding, and in that deeper grounding, there is an ongoing conversation between the Holy Spirit and our own soul, between the eternity of God and our future life, our potential and hoped eternal life. Psalms sound uh, a bit old-fashioned. Sadly, many, many people, and uh, perhaps uh, most of the Christians, the baptized, uh, they, don't know, have, they don't have a living contact with the Psalms. Actually, the best way to have this contact is praying the Church's morning and evening prayers. But why is it so important to, to communicate with this deep ground of our lives, to build our life on this deep ground. Um, this is the source of our daily renewal. And as adults, we see, all of us have a sense what it means, a balanced life. At least we desire it. Um, when we have enough sleep, uh, we have a job, uh, we have uh, uh, relations and friends in our life. Uh, we have work relations, personal relations, so we, uh, and we have a sense of health, what it means to be healthy. But the same applies to our life as a whole, as a conversation with God, that we need to be healthy uh, in this deeper sense. Uh, ideally, a human person has a living Christian faith. It's offered us to us on a daily basis. Uh, and Psalm 30, uh, it beautifully links to uh, the word, to the line of the gospel, gospel that make home in me and I will make home in you. That hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me, O Lord, be my helper. In my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. You, O Lord, of your goodness, have made my heel so strong. So health, stability, uh, life is a gift of God. It's not something taken for granted. And if we are in communion with this deeper ground of our life, through the prayer, through praying the Psalms, then we, uh, we, can, we have the sense of thanksgiving and this awareness that everything is, everyone is a gift in our lives for which we uh, have to give thanks. So, communicating with this deeper ground of, of our life is life when we have a look at Andrei Rubio's icon, the Holy Trinity. It's not only about what we see, but when it was painted, in a turbulent period of Russian history, when the Mongol Tartars invaded the country, the country was divided, this artist and his generation saw so much suffering. And then he created this most well-known image of the whole uh, Christian world. Um, he was in communication with this profound, this very grounding of life, the life of the triune God. So let us receive today's Eucharist as an explicit encounter 
with this very deep ground of our life, the friendship of our 